Yo, what's going on my fellow Avengers squad members? Now, today's video will be discussing on the articles giving their opinion about Marvel's Avengers demo they were able to play. Now, if you guys didn't know, Marvel's Avengers demo was, able, was playable at New York Comic Con, PAX Australia, and also Brazil Game Show. So, I will be discussing the articles that's dealing with those and giving their opinions about it. Now, if you guys want to see the articles yourself, I will have the links to all the articles below if you guys were interested and want to check it out yourselves. But yeah, we're gonna start off with New York Comic Con, then we're going to the Brazil's game show, then we're gonna end it off with PAX Australia since it's recent. But yeah, we're finna get to New York Comic Con now, and let's go. Now for the first article is by Connor Christensen. Now for the title of the article, it states that while it's not perfect, Marvel's Avengers is shaping up to be a wonderful superhero experience. But he goes on to state that I can happily say that the game exceeds my expectations is worthy of the fans' excitement. Uh, Connor goes on to state that after seeing uh, the Marvel's Avengers uh, during E3, he was very skeptical of it. He's not, he wasn't really sure on what the game was going to be and like if it wasn't going to live up to the hype. But he goes on to state that the fresh take on the Marvel's narrative should make players very excited about the opportunity to control Earth Mightiest Heroes. Now this is a very good sign so far. Now he was very skeptical uh, for E3 because when E3 was shown, it wasn't really you know done. I, I can understand his uh his uh his feeling of being skeptical because when E3 when it came off of E3, you know Black Widow looked kind of she could, she looked kind of rough and uh, Thor looked it uh, rough as well. And playing it now since New York Comic Con has uh, ended his opinion has changed he really think is uh, really worthy and it's really changed his uh, perspective of the game and he's really excited for it so it's pretty cool to see that it's really changing people's opinions about the game seeing it more updated and more polished i guess you could say and it's in the alpha build and it's pretty you know polished so just imagine what they could do with the later on in the month just uh continuously polishing it and putting added things into the game so it's really good to hear that now we're going to get on to the second article. Now this is by John Glenn. Now the title of his uh, website is Inverse. Now he goes on for the title of the uh, of his article. It says Marvel's Avengers is gorgeous, chaotic, and a hell of a lot of fun. Now that's a, that's a that's a really nice title. Uh, you already said that he's going to be, really be excited for the game. Now he goes on to say that is Marvel Avengers actually fun? With a question mark and. He said, "Yes, yes, this really is." Now he goes to say his big takeaway from the, all of the, everything from uh, New York Comic Con is said, ignore all the E3 haters. Marvel's Avengers is shaping up to be one of the most exciting games of 2020. Now, guys, it's crazy because you know after E3, the game really did get some haters. And uh, honestly, with New York Comic Con, I have really not been seeing bad things about it you know of course you know it's the average thing about uh we see receiving 8 day multiple times and all but honestly i'm seeing people reactions on twitter that they are really enjoying the game you know if they're the first time playing if hands on they're really enjoying it and reading from these articles saying that they is shaping up to be one of the most exciting games of 2020 it just it, it gets it's a good feeling just to know that you know, some people are really out there that really like is happy for the excited for this game. You know, instead of you know being you know hateful and all, but you know it's really cool to really see people excited for the game overall. Now we're finna get into the third article. Now this is from by Christian Angles. Now also the title of the website is Work Print. Now the title is Marvel's Avengers is an unfinished masterpiece that's just getting started. Now he said the game is breathtaking and it's fun in every single way. Now the game is beautiful and does a great job inserting you into the Marvel Universe as these characters. And the game looks miles ahead of what you could expect and I will he will be pre-ordering the game when it becomes available. Now guys, this is this is really like good information we're receiving. Especially it's from New York Comic Con as well. He, he said the game is breathtaking in every single way. The game is beautiful and it's great inserting you into the Marvel uh, Universe, especially with the characters. So. I, can, I don't know what's it's just birthday I guess you could say I guess you could say it's really good to hear this all these news you know just good uh, news dealing with Marvel's Avengers I don't know it, it's just crazy he said he'll be pre-ordering it soon as pre-ordering it as soon as it, as it is available so I guess you, you can tell he's really sold on the game and he's really excited for it uh, it's a really good thing now those are the three New York Comic Con um, articles I could really find to be honest I'm you know, really sorry I couldn't find any more. It's it had it just wasn't really that much I could really find. 
Now we're gonna get on to the Brazil game show. Now, sadly, I only have one article for this because the other articles they were I really couldn't find none. All, only one I could really find was the uh, the one by Big Geeks, and I had to translate it myself. So these are the one. This is the only one I was able to really find by myself. Now I don't have the title. I don't have the you know the art the dude that produced it or wrote it himself. But I do have the name of the uh, the, um, the website. It's called Beat Geeks, and this was at the Brazil Game Show. Now he said the game borders on perfection and fun and interactively. And he said the the style is more of like God of War interaction, where environment is completely free to character action. Now he said the game isn't repetitive at all, as the experience is different for each character, and that's really good to hear because. I've seen some people talk about how Mar how Marvel's Avengers may be competitive. I mean, repetitive. You know, doing the same thing over and over again. So it's glad to see that somebody saying that it's not going to be like that. So you know, we never know. We got to get our hands on ourselves. He goes on to state that in summary, Marvel's Avengers is a game that I will be definitely want to have. And if single player, if I had so much fun in single player, I can just imagine what it'd be in co-op. That's just, <laughs> this is crazy. Now this is from Brazil game show this is all the way in brazil so and people are having fun playing in brazil so this is really good that we're really receiving this now i'm going to get into pax australia now i will have some of this i will have some of the screenshots up as well showing you what people are saying about it now i have one from kobe on twitter now he said i played the demo for marvel's avengers and love every minute of, every minute of it can't come can't come soon enough uh, hashtag Avengers and hashtag Pax Australia. Now this is <laughs> this is really cool to see people really excited for the game. It's really awesome to really see this. And we're gonna get into the next tweet. Now uh, this is another one. Uh, his name is Mini Carry. Uh, pa he's at Pax Australia. Now he says, now the game isn't it's not perfect, but each character has their strengths and weaknesses. But for the most part, I'm excited to play it and see outside of the tutorial uh, sampler plate. And I want to see this open world Destiny superhero game. Now, if you guys can notice, you know, that's a good response. Now, if you guys notice, you know, some people really compare, compare it a lot to Destiny. And I can honestly see why some people may compare it to Destiny because, you know, it's... It's kind of, if you it's the it's a um, you know say it as a live service game and Destiny is a live service game as well, but um, I can see what they mean with like the hub worlds I guess you could say, but honestly we can't really say it's like Destiny yet until we like get a feel for it for ourselves. Now those were everything dealing you know with Marvel's Avengers dealing with the all the gameplay all all the information received on it basically with the articles now i have to get my opinion on it as you guys know <laughs> excuse me <laughs> i had the perp um as i've said in the um the video from the beginning i will get my opinion on this now i'm really excited and just really happy to see like people are really excited for the game overall dealing with all the you know the the drama we have lately with people not wanting to miss uh marvel being you know, having problems with her being the main character and all. Um, it's it's pretty exciting to see. I just really can't wait to get a hands on it myself because I want to experience for myself. Like, cause I really want to, cause all these good news and all is good, but God, I, I just want to feel it for myself. And I really want to come and just tell you guys all my experience of playing it myself. So, guys, we may be getting the demo probably in January or February, in my opinion. You never know, but let me know what you guys think about all this good news we received dealing with Marvel's Avengers. Uh, as I said, I will have the links to below for all the articles if you guys want to read it for you got for yourself. Now, for the Brazil one, you may have to um, copy and paste it and uh, put it in Google, Google Translate to really read all the information about it. So that's just a heads up for you guys. But um, as I said before, let me know what you guys think about it. And guys, we are going crazy. With these, uh, with the subscribes and likes and comments, guys, we are really, you guys are going crazy with this, man. It's really crazy how many subscribers I've been gaining. It's a lot. It's, I'm telling you, bro. I'm trying to get the, the road to 1K. It's really possible. I'm, I'm trying to hit it before the end of the year. If not, it's okay with me. But guys, if you guys enjoying the Avengers content so far, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell as well, so you know when I upload a video or go live. And also. If you guys uh, are, are interested, I do have a Discord. It's called Avengers Squad. We go over everything dealing with Marvel's Avengers. So if you guys are interested, 
want how to join or you guys just click the link below that's legit all you have to do in your end but um yeah that's the end of the video as i stated before let me know what you guys think about all this news we received from all adventures and people opinions on the game and yeah hope you guys have a good day don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and have a good day